In terms of innovative drones, the British military is really paving the way for UAVs that'll define the battlefield for decades to come. As well as the missile launching Jackal, there's another new lethal drone courtesy of the Brits, and this one is agile, intelligent, and destructive. This is the Hydra 400, and we're going to review just what makes it so special. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. Hydra is a British UAV technology business founded in October of 2019 and funded by the British Army to reinvent heavy lift UAVs and develop the hybrid jet electric concept. The new Hydra 400 offers unparalleled lift capacity, speed, and range to allow for development in any industry sector. The British Ministry of Defense in 2023 officially displayed its latest jet-propelled heavy lift drone at the Defense and Security Equipment International Conference at the Excel Center in London. This was the Hydra 400, and it was being showcased alongside the drone's Aether mothership. This was to demonstrate that the British Army is pioneering a new generation of heavy lift drones using hybrid propulsion technology. This is the tech that uses rotors and jet engines in tandem. The Hydra 400 is small and portable, so much so that it can be transported on a regular pickup truck and, if needed, can be prepared for flight in six minutes. For flight, the Hydra has single spool jet turbines that generate 500 newtons of thrust which lets it lift 882 pounds. The single spool core means that all rotating components in the compressor and the gas generator are on one shaft and rotate at the same speed. This isn't the case with dual spool core, as this splits the compressor into two independently spinning rotors that are each powered by a separate gas generator turbine on concentric shafts. Aeronautical engineers have combined to hone this design to make the drone mobile but also highly functional. The drone has been designed because of the operating environment that the Army is seeing in Ukraine. There is an ever-evolving drone campaign during this conflict, but 40% of losses are attributed to pilot error. This has been pinpointed to when the electromagnetic spectrum is so heavily contested, automation fails, and the pilot's skill predominates. The need for what the Army calls warfighters calls for everyone on the battlefield to be stronger, faster, more intelligent, and more resilient, and this includes the drones themselves. This was the Hydra team's brief, and they set to work on fulfilling it. Thus, the 400 was born. The drone uses advanced AI-powered sensors to operate in GPS-denied environments and under its own power. The drone can carry out a fully autonomous supply drop without any troop involvement. This greatly reduces risk on the battlefield. Developed by Hydro Drones Limited and funded by the MOD, the plan is for the UAV to carry the Brimstone missile. This missile is a huge part of the system because it's the source of firepower for the Hydra 400. It's an advanced anti-armor missile developed by European missile manufacturer MBDA with American aerospace and defense company Boeing as the primary subcontractor. This means the drone is capable of delivering a lightweight strike missile equipped with a dual-mode millimeter-wave semi-active laser seeker that allows it to engage fast-moving vehicles or vessels on land and at sea, and in direct and indirect modes of operation. The Brimstone is known as a one-missile, multiple-platform system that can be used against threats ranging from fast jet, attack helicopters, remotely piloted air systems, to land and maritime platforms, all using the same missile. The missile has a length of 180 millimeters, a weight of 110 pounds, or 50 kilograms, and a diameter of 180 millimeters. It's a combat-proven, low-collateral, close-air support weapon that can be ground or air-launched. When air-launched, the missile exceeds RAF requirements for a long-range anti-armor weapon. This is a massive advantage as it gives fighter aircraft the standoff capability to destroy tanks and armored assets deep behind enemy lines. This means the Hydra 400 can stay a safe distance away while launching its weapon, which massively increases survivability. Currently, the Brimstone is in use with the RAF's Tornado GR-4, GR-4A, and Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft, 
and will eventually replace the RBL-755 cluster bombs. Like the Hydra drone, the small size and weight of the missile itself allows it to be integrated into a wide range of helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, including the L-159 Hawk and F-A-18. The drone we're looking at will be the latest vehicle to carry the lethal weapon. This weaponry, crucially, allows the Hydra drone to be a tank killer. Brimstone is armed with a high-explosive anti-tank warhead capable of penetrating explosive reactive armor. The front charge starts the explosion of the armor and clears the path for the main charge to hit it with the anti-tank jet dart. It's also a fully fire-and-forget system, requiring no further interaction from the launch platform or a post-launch target designator. After Brimstone leaves the drone, the solid propellant rocket motor accelerates the missile to supersonic speed. This has a short burn time and very low smoke emission, which gives it a very low visual and infrared signature and minimizes the probability of detection by hostile sensors. The missile's method of seeking out its target is another advantage in making the Hydra so lethal. Brimstone is equipped with a small, robust millimetric wave radar seeker operating at 94 gigahertz, which gives it the ability to operate in all weather conditions day and night. The Seeker works in low visibility and contaminated battlefield conditions and doesn't get thrown off by battlefield obscurance such as smoke, dust, flares, and chaff. The millimeter wave radar gives wideband operation using very sophisticated electronic countermeasures. Millimetric radar attenuates more rapidly than conventional semimetric radar in rain, sleet, and fog. But its biggest perk is high penetration in comparison to infrared sensor systems when countermeasures are employed. The missile's seeker incorporates a terrain avoidance capability, which lets it cruise at a fixed height above ground. A digital autopilot allows mid-course guidance and uses a high-accuracy digital inertial measurement system for high-precision pathfinding to locate targets at long range and in off-boresight operations. The state-of-the-art guidance system on the launcher's fire control unit and missile uses the target's coordinates, course, speed, distance to target, missile trajectory data, and data from other sensors to control the missile and produce the optimum flight path to the target. The missile's navigation is also highly intelligent when it comes to avoiding unwanted casualties. For the search phase of the missile flight, the Millimeter Wave Seeker does a sweep search for targets on the ground directly ahead and to each side of its path. For low collateral damage control, the missile can be told not to initiate a target search until it has passed a given point. This allows the missile to safely overfly friendly forces. It can also be programmed to cease target search beyond a certain engagement area or to accept a target only within a specified area. Embedded algorithms can be programmed to attack only valid targets within a specified area. This specifically allows Brimstone to target armored vehicles and ignore other fixed or moving assets like houses or cars. Brimstone is compatible with helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, fast jets, land vehicles, naval platforms, and unmanned aerial vehicles. It has a success rate of over 98% and has proven effective in defeating static, moving and maneuvering targets, including main battle tanks and armor vehicles. Hydra's funding is provided by the Ministry of Defense, and Hydra, complete with a dummy payload representing Brimstone, will be tested during the next phase of the Army's warfighting experiment, also known as AWE. This is a series of trials and experiments taking place all over the UK and overseas where development partners have been tasked with providing solutions to the difficulties of urban warfare using tech to prepare for complex future warfare. Clearly, Hydra 400 is a massive part of this. The device is available as a fully electric UAV or with a hybrid jet version featuring either two, four, or six jets. It's also equipped with an L3 Harris NAT stores release system, which can carry a variety of payloads, including casualty evacuation pods, cargo racks, underslung loads, and a number of weapon systems, including the Brimstone. There are also plans to potentially add features that could allow the drone to extract troops from the battlefield and deliver them to a hospital. The Hydra program started off with water, ammunition, and fuel. 
but according to the company, there's no reason why it couldn't extract a wounded soldier in the future. What are your thoughts on the Hydra 400? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.